with Wabin and Husker up. Very much alive. Pick him up when I see him. Pick him up. Just pick him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh gosh. That will get your fingers clean. Goes over here trying to escape. These I think when you cook them they'll still be alive sometime, right? They'll be like moving in the pot sometime. It's kinda of creepy but for real. River fish. This is what? Tit. Chato. Chato. And um, wabins here. And this is Cuscara. These are alive. They just. Oh, I have a whole lot of prepare. Yes. These is actually. I don't think you can see them, but. This is called gospel lemons. Just cut it in the fish. Okay, they have a lot of seed. I can just see them out. And you just let them soak there for like 10 minutes or so. And. Okay, so this is the fish here now after it's soaking on the line. Well, this is actually, well, this is river fish, so we don't take out the skin from these when we fillet them, right? So now we're going to use the seasoning here. We're going to put some garlic and some, we'll call this shadow benny. This is celery and scythe. We're going to use some scythe. Everything here is actually home um homegrown seasoning right so the garlics we'll pound it up here to get a better flavor from it we'll use the um mortar and pestle to pound it up right and this is the chato or cascado right some of them is actually cascado and some is chato there's a slight difference in them they actually look the same but one has a flat head and one is you know and they don't actually grow very big right so after this we'll come back with it seasoned and prepared okay so this is the finished product here of the fried fish mm, these cutters looking good they're just ready to eat juicy nice okay and the cascado and dumpling up next all right so you'll be back when this cascado on the plate and ready to go down yes solid this is the finished product here yes and you could see it looking nice and juicy just ready to eat mm-hmm with some nice dumplings with carrots in it that is the day